welcome to It's All Recruiting, the show that looks at everything through the lens of recruiting. I'm your host, Jim Stroud. Hello, how are you? Guess what? I was reading this blog just the other day. It was on a site called um, uh, excuse me, Employer Branding Now. Yeah, that was the, the, the blog I was reading. And there was a very interesting blog post on said blog that I found fascinating. The title was Using Live Chat to Attract Candidates. And I thought, live chat? Uh, is it just what it sounded like? And I read the post, and yeah, it was. Uh, using live chat to uh, talk to people who happen along their website and, and grab their attention and then use that attention to recruit them on down the road. And I, I found it all quite fascinating, and I thought, what a great topic for a podcast, how to use live chat to attract candidates. So I reached out to uh, them. Um, actually, I reached out to the company behind the chat um, product itself and connected with them, and they were nice enough to say, yeah, sure, I'll talk to you about it. So I invited them to this podcast, and here we are now. So if you would, kind sir, please introduce yourself, who you are, what you do, and where you work. Yes, sounds great. Thanks, Jim. Um, my name is Carl Polowitz, and I am uh, the voice of Olark, uh, a title which might sound like a radio DJ, but uh, in fact, <laughs> I just, uh, just sort of help out with the um, – uh, sales and marketing here at Olark. Uh, we are a sort of small to mid-sized business, about 30 employees, and uh, we work on live chat software. So if you've ever been on a website and you've seen a small tab maybe pop up in the bottom right-hand corner that says click here to chat with somebody, um, that is that that is usually our software, um, enabling the company uh, behind that chat to talk to you, the visitor, while you're on the site. Intriguing uh, use of your tool, I thought, was using it in a recruiting um, function. Is that something that you guys do yourself, using your product to recruit people? Definitely, yeah. So, so the nice thing about live chat is you can you can use it for any number of um, uh, any number of things. A lot of companies kind of start off with maybe uh, support and customer service, so they just offer the chat to people who want to ask a question and they have a reactive approach to just uh, helping customers when they need it. Uh, some companies then maybe move into a next phase, which would be like a proactive chat, uh, where they're going to actually uh, reach out to a visitor while they're on the page or on their website and you know start a conversation much the same way a salesperson might approach you while you're browsing the store. Um, and when you start to think about it in terms of sales and support and some other functions that go along with running a business, uh, then I think one of the natural extensions of that would be uh, recruiting and hiring and vetting candidates. Um, so, yeah, um, there you can use live chat and customize it in such a way where you can make it um, very targeted to who you're going to show the chat tab to and implement it as a part of a recruiting and hiring process and procedure. Um, so, you know, for instance, um, one of the things you can do with the chat tab would be uh, you could customize the text in the tab itself. So you might want to write something that says, um, uh, hey, we're hiring, and when the chat tab pops open, um, then people people's eyes move to the tab and they click and they ask about what you might be hiring for. Um, you could take it one step farther and uh, maybe hide, you could implement chat on your entire site, but hide it in, except for uh, your job page. So maybe people come to your website and browse your entire site and never know that you offer chat until they come to your job page. And then the chat tab um, pops up and says, hi, I'm a recruiter. I'm here to talk if you have questions about our job. Um, and finally, uh, one of the things you could do, too, on the back end uh, would be to create an operator group. Let's say you have a division in your company solely dedicated to hiring or recruiting. Um, if someone in your customer support department uh, starts a conversation with someone who's seeking a job, uh, that person could transfer the chat to your group of operators that are dedicated to recruitment and hiring so that they actually talk to somebody who's ready to discuss open positions and um, the candidate's you know, experience and when they might, when they might be a good fit. Um, so there are a lot of ways to put live chat to use in your recruitment and hiring process. Uh, at Olark, uh, we use it very lightly for hiring. Um, we sometimes have initial conversations with candidates who come onto our site, 
people who come to our site are more often um, in need of help for the software itself. So we find ourselves primarily dealing with people who need help with our software. But if someone does come on and has questions about a job, um, operators, everyone at our company who's on chat knows about the open position. So, you know, it's, we certainly give everybody the power to start a conversation with somebody about an open position. And uh, we typically try to just move them over to submitting uh, their resume through our online form, and then someone will follow up with them uh, via email or so. Um, hmm. I guess it's probably, it might be worth noting, though, uh, you know, there are some companies that do use it in, there are some, like, recruiting companies that actually use it. Um, so I had a conversation um, just recently with a company that's using it pretty heavily in their recruitment process. Um, uh, the company's name is Mirror Placement. Uh, they're based up in the, the Boston area. And mm -hmm. um, they are a group of developers, web developers, who actually recruit other web developers for open positions that they develop. So they're always looking for Ruby on Rails developers, which is a pretty specific niche of, of um, web developers who are out there. Um, but what they do is uh, on the, when someone visits the site, when a candidate comes to the site, um, they offer chat to that candidate so that the candidate can then start talking to an initial person, they have sort of like a, almost like a housekeeping operator who answers the chat. Um, mm -hmm. And if a candidate's interested in a specific position, let's say they're interested in a developer position in Los Angeles, then the housekeeping person who starts the chat can transfer them to a lead recruiter who specializes in the LA market and can then start to ask some of those uh, initial questions to get a better feel of whether the candidate suited or not. Um, and then if they feel that they're better, if they feel like they are suited for the position, uh, then take the conversation offline to the phone or something like that and actually begin the curious interviewing and vetting process that would go on to it, um, which, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, they also, of course, there's another set of that coin, which is uh, they have clients who are always looking for new candidates to come along too. So um, they can service their clients uh, through the live chat tab uh, answer questions or field new positions that, that they want to have listed and then tell, talk to them a little bit about like uh, promising candidates who may have um, entered into Okay. Okay. I I find this also fascinating because I, I get the uh, – my initial thought when I saw the chat, I thought it was a very good idea uh, on the surface when I first saw it, when I first read the article, and I'll reference the article in the uh, podcast description for those listening. And I thought, okay, on the surface it sounds really good, but I'm thinking what I need like a team of of operators to manage the chat because I get the I would get the impression or I, uh, I would like to think that um our a certain website would be so popular that it'll be inundated with people um uh pouring questions into the company by the chat um product. So I'm wondering how many people would I need on any given day to answer all the questions that would come through the chat box. And then I'm also wondering what if uh, there aren't that many people <laughs> coming through uh, with questions on the chat box. Is it, so I guess what I want to ask is, do you think it is more feasible to advertise and promote that there is a live chat operator person available at all times to talk about jobs in any given day? Or do you think it's better to have it where – the function is there, and the candidate is just sort of pleasantly surprised that they can reach out to someone on the spot. What, what do you think is best? Sure, sure. Uh, great questions. Um, so I, I think one of the things we always tell people that are considering live chat is it takes some experimentation at first to find out what's the right pace uh, for your needs. And the nice thing about live chat is it can scale with your needs. So it can be as small as you want, or it can scale up to a 20-person team or more if you needed to. Um, we've seen companies uh, who actually install the live chat code on their site but never log in. Uh, instead, they just keep the chat tab as an email form. So one of the nice things that happens is um, when you're not logged into live chat, accepting chat, uh, you can have the chat tab become an email form so that when someone clicks on it, it says, sorry, we're not here right now. Uh, but please leave us a message, and they can send you an email, and, and then you can respond to that when you have the time for it. Um, at the same time, when you get to a point where you where you have some people who are ready to start answering chats, then you can log in for an hour here or two hours there and answer a few chats and then turn it off again and go back to what you were working on. Um, 
I think one of the things companies have sometimes have a tough time wrapping their head around is, uh, uh, you know, having live chat isn't like having a call center. Uh, just because you go out and purchase an operator seat for a live chat uh, platform doesn't mean you need to hire a new person to sit there and answer chat. You could um, buy one operator seat on a live chat platform and then use sort of like a rotating cast of characters through that seat depending on who's available to talk. So uh, we at Olark, we call that all hand support, where everyone in our company logs in from time to time to do customer support and talk to our customers. Um, you know, it's a great it's a great way to make sure nobody gets burned out on chat, but also give everybody in your company uh, a chance to like talk to your customers. Um, hmm. So, so you asked about well, one valid concern: too many chats to handle. Um, certainly, for small business owners and for people who are maybe a one man, two man team, it's a it's a valid concern. Um, chat can sometimes get a little bit overwhelming, and they're as soon as someone starts that chat, they're kind of their the clock is ticking. They're online, they're expecting a response, they're expecting some help, um, and that can be, you know, it can be a little nerve-wracking. Um, there are some best practices in terms of uh, uh, when to turn it off, when to turn it on, um, limiting the number of chats you get at one time, so maybe you, you limit it so that you can only get one or two chats at a time. Um, but you really have to kind of experiment with it and find out what works best in the course of, of your day or in the course of your team's needs. Uh, and then you can kind of custom it, customize it to fit that. Um, and the other nice thing is uh, if you get too many chats, if you get too busy and you're, you reach your limit uh, for your number of chats, you, so you could be doing six chats at once, right? But you set a limit to say, I want to go offline if I'm doing six chats at once. Um, so if you reach your limit or if you're just not online at that point in time, again, you can turn the chat tab into an email form uh, or you can just hide it completely, so there's no expectation of, of somebody there. Um, but if you use the email form, you at least still get some feedback from the customer and you don't miss them completely uh, if you were busy or you were doing something else. Um, hmm. Then you also asked, too, about not enough. Okay, so, mm -hmm. um, yeah, as much as we would love to have unbelievable traffic on our website, uh, you know, the fact of the matter is sometimes it's slower than other times. Um, one of the nice things about uh, a live chat platform, I mean, Olark does this, but there are certainly others out there that do uh, and offer similar functionality, uh, is that you'll be able to see a list of who's on your website, who's visiting your website at that point. Right. So let's say you log into chat for an hour, but nobody decides to click on the chat tab. Um, if you're feeling up to it, uh, you could click on someone who's actually on your site and ask them a quick question. So you might say, you know, um, hi there, just wondering if I can help you with anything today. Uh, you know, I'm happy to help if I can. Um, so you can actually go out and start some chats if you'd like. Um, and then you also have some tools within the platform to automatically initiate a chat depending on certain criteria. So let's say you're, um, again, in the, in the instance of recruit, let's say you have someone who's on your job page and uh, maybe you have a separate page develop, uh, set aside for a specific developer uh, position that they in. Well, you can create a rule that says, I want the live chat tab to pop open if someone spends more than a minute on the developer page. Um, and that, when that happens, uh, then you, you then know that that person is maybe considering this or is giving some really hard thoughts whether or not they're applicable for this job. And you can jump in there at that, at, like right at that right time and say, hey there, do you have any questions about the developer job? Maybe I can help you out today. Um, and initiate that conversation uh, for that person to, to kind of get the ball rolling. If you will. So, um, so there are ways to, to throttle it back if you're feeling overwhelmed, and there are certainly ways to dial it up a little bit more if you feel like not enough people are supposed to interact that. What if I had a day where there were, I talked to, I don't know, 13 people in chat that day, um, and I wanted to search the conversation that I had uh, throughout the day, because I, I can say, I think I remember saying this, or I remember someone saying that, but I don't know who it is, and, it's, and I've talked to 13 different people. Uh, is there a way to search the different chats I've done uh, on any particular day through your system, through your product? Sure, yeah, absolutely. Um, so on Olark, you are, we are basically uh, recording and providing to you transcripts from, from each conversation that is initiated. Um, and when I say recording, it's, it's basically your... Uh, you're the only people, you're the only person that gets access to it. Um, but 
but you'll have a running list of all the transcripts of the conversation you've had from the day. So um, you, if you had 13, that's a pretty easy number to go back and say, like, okay, here's, I can manually go through 13 chats and look for that one that I was uh, looking for. Um, but we have some, you can do some search terms in it. Um, one of the things that's nice about live chat is uh, you can tag all of your conversations. So let's say, again, you're, you were talking to somebody who's applying for the developer position and you want to make a note of each one of those um, conversations so you could apply a developer tag to that particular applicant conversation uh, so that when you want to come back and see all of the people who discuss the developer position, you should be able to search for that, pull it up really quickly. Um, and again, like, you know, 13 conversations a day would be pretty good, but for those people out there maybe having 50 or 60 conversations in a day, then tagging certainly makes it a lot easier for you to come back and take a look at what happened during the day, who was talking about what. Um, we also have a reports page um, that will give you a little bit more insight on um, uh, when you were busiest during the day, uh, what day you're busiest, which of your operators answered the most chat, um, how well the chats were received. So we have a small post chat survey that um, prompts the customer for their feedback on their experience with the chat operator. Um, and, uh, and then finally, we have some integrations that are available. Um, if you're using a CRM, you can uh, very easily send information from the chat to something like Salesforce or desk.com or any CRM that you might be using um, so that you can uh, you know, incorporate those chat transcripts with other records you might be keeping for your customers. And finally, uh, we also offer a Google, uh, Google Analytics integration. So you can take a look at which pages on your website are generating the most chat too. We've, we've seen that that's a helpful feature for people who are trying to measure the, um, the efficacy of the content that they put up on their website. You know, is the page confusing? Is it generating a lot of questions because of the chat? Maybe we should change something. Um, so all of that kind of helps you stay a little better organized uh, if you have a high volume or even if you have a small volume but you want to see like where it's from, you've got a number of different ways to keep things working. Cool. One, one last question because it's another one that sort of, sort of bothers me in the back of my mind. Uh, in a perfect world, everyone who I would chat with would be an ideal candidate, the perfect person I want to talk to. But I'm wondering also in the back of my mind how many people would reach out through the chat with the express purpose of just being aggravating or being a nuisance or I guess whatever the spam equivalent of uh, live chat would be. Uh, among your different clients who use these live, uh, who, who use your client product, your chat product, uh, how many, um, what percentage would you say are nuisance chats or people just wasting time or Spam, I guess, for lack of a better word. Sure, Tro trolls. Sometimes we call them trolls. People that want to get on and cause trouble, or just, yeah, uh, they're not there for any sort of beneficial use other than to just kind of bother you. Uh, we cer we certainly get those. They're out there. I guess one and I, I, I actually, if you would permit me, I'd like to open with a positive. Um, sure. The mirror, the mirror placement company that I talked to, um, actually in 2013, said that uh, in that year, 23 percent of the placements that they were that they um, had success with came in or were started on live chat. Um, really? Say that number again, 23%? Yeah, 23% of their successful placements for the year of 2013 uh, were started via live chat. Wow. Um, and I thought that was really great. And I, I and then I asked uh, I asked Fred what his numbers were in 2014, and he said, well, the numbers got a little – they got a little borked up because they did a, a, they basically did a, a huge web overhaul and had a little trouble um, getting everything back in place again. So um, the numbers were still up over 10% um, from last year, but he thought the decline was due to a, a web redesign. But I thought you know nearly 25% in, in 2013 um, was pretty great. Um, and one of the things we're actually talking to him about too is um, setting up his live chat to track. Um, different ad campaigns that are sending traffic to his site now. So they are so now they're recruiting for iOS developers in addition to Ruby on Rails developers and they're running some iOS ads to try to get more candidates to the site. And so one of the things they can do with live chat is track how many people came to the site as a result of those ads and they can also so that gives them another view on like whether or not um, whether or not it's being effective and getting the right people there. Um, so that's the good side of it. 
uh, yeah, there's certainly an element of, of um, people who come on the site. Maybe it's 4 a.m. in, in uh, overseas somewhere, and somebody just got home from the bar, and they just feel like goofing around online, so they start to chat. It happens. Um, we uh, we have some features in the platform that allow you to block those people. So if they are uh, if they're really just being a, a big nuisance, and you can't shrug them off, or you can't like politely ask them to hang up the phone, if you will. Um, mm -hmm. Then you can uh, you can block those visitors, uh, and we also have some some rules within the platform that say, okay, if this person keeps coming back, then uh, based on their IP address, you could lock that person to a to like an operator group that has no operators in it. So essentially, their chat would get answered by nobody, but they would never your staff would never be bothered by it, and they would just kind of be stuck in in limbo uh, there. Um, and that would be that would be like a really extreme case if somebody keeps coming back to like you know, harass you or whatever. But, um, but there are some ways to get around it. It happens. You know, people want to come online and goof around. So that's what it is. Very cool. Well, I do appreciate your time very much. If someone wanted more information about about uh, your product or more information about uh, about your product, where can they go to get more information? Definitely. Um, Olark dot com is the website. So it's www dot o l a r k dot com and uh we service all of our software in the chat tab on our website so if you come on to olark dot com uh, anytime between seven a m pacific and seven p m pacific you'll be able to chat with somebody on our team and we're there to help with service support sales any kind of questions you might have uh we are more than happy to help out very cool thank you so much for your time sir i do appreciate it thank you jim appreciate it it's been a it's been a pleasure Tweet me your thoughts or leave a comment. Either way, I want to know what you think. Oh, uh, be sure to stay in touch with me. I have a few things uh, on the horizons that I would like uh, for you to know about. Uh, my blog is uh, jimstroud.com. Please subscribe. Uh, my Twitter is at jimstroud. Uh, please follow. <laughs> and, of course, I'm on LinkedIn and Google+. Plus. I'm everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Until... I just cracked myself up. Until next time, uh, only me. Until next time, <laughs> bye.